Welcome to Econ 201, Principles of Macroeconomics, the online version. My name is Steve Greenlaw and I will be your instructor in this class. If you're like me, you're probably thinking, who else would you be? I'm from Alexandria, Virginia, and I've been teaching at Mary Washington since I accepted what I thought would be a temporary job in 1982. I'm married and my wife and I have three sons. My number one hobby is cooking and I've been known to cook dinner for my students in the econ house. Other hobbies are hiking and reading. This summer, I read an entire novel in two and a half hours. It was literally a page turner. Let me say, first of all, that I'm really glad you're here, genuinely. Some of you may not have taken an online course before. That's okay, neither have I. I've taught Econ 201 more than 30 times, but this will be the first time I've taught it fully online. So in a very real sense, this course is an experiment. No doubt it won't be perfect, but we will make it work and it'll be fun. This isn't just a course for me. Macroeconomics is my field and I'm the only macro guy at UMW. Macro is my passion. In my view, it has the most interesting questions in all of economics today. You may have noticed that over the past few years, we've experienced a global financial crisis and economic recession. That's meant that it's been a very interesting time to teach macro. It's, in fact, it's been a number of years since I've had to explain to students why this course is relevant. The subtitle for the course could be Journey into the Unknown. I'm, not go I'm sorry, I'm going to assume that you know very little about macroeconomics. This course revolves around some important real-world questions, like why are some countries richer than others? Why is our economy going so slowly in 2012? Why are people finding it so hard to find jobs? Which presidential candidate is proposing the best macroeconomic policy for the future? You probably don't know the answers to all of these questions. I know more than you, but I don't know the answers to all these questions either. And that's okay. We're going we're gonna to figure this out over the course of the semester as we explore these issues and develop answers to them together. Think of this as a collaborative exploration, not as a competition. There's no grading quotas. Uh, it would be possible for each of you to earn an A in this class, though I think that will be hard to do. Um, the purpose of the course is really to teach two things. First, what an educated person should know about macroeconomics. And second, how to analyze macro issues and problems the way an economist would. It's a little different than uh, the way ordinary people think. Now, I'm assuming you're taking this course because you want to learn these two things. I may be wrong about that, but that's what I'm going to assume anyway. And that assumption is going to drive my behavior in this class. Economics has a reputation for being difficult. This course is hard, but not necessarily because of the reasons that you think. The reason is that most of you have not studied macro before. Think back to the first course in a foreign language you ever took. You didn't know the vocabulary or even how to form correct sentences. The same thing is true for most of you about economics. I'm not telling you this to scare you, but to make sure you understand that this course requires work. But it's not impossible if you just follow the directions. In more than 25 years of teaching, I've literally had only a handful of students, maybe five, who couldn't learn this material. Economics is a lot like sports. If you work at it, if you practice, you will get better. If you take this course seriously, if you do the readings, if you ask questions about things that you don't understand, if you do the assignments, you will learn what you need to be successful. Thank you.